Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today I wanted to show you how ChatGPT generated responses to discussion and writing prompts I use in my classroom this week. Now here, you're going to see a selection of four different slides that I used in class. I took the actual response on the green slide and dropped that directly into ChatGPT. So you can see it here. Now what I did was I wanted it to answer exactly what was on the slide. I was trying to sort of fake being a student and having this work at home and seeing what it would create. The other part that I did though was I gave it a prompt. I gave it sort of a mega prompt. This is being referred to as asking ChatGPT to write in a certain kind of style. I asked it to write a response as a socialist. So the idea of like writing a response in an economic type of thought based on these questions of progressivism. Now some of the answers you can see are sort of generic. Yeah, I did not feed the prompt of the video. If you look at it, it doesn't say what video I used. This is a crash course progressive presidents video that we had in class. We had a discussion, we watched. Um, but then it begins to spit out information relating to those kinds of presidents. Um, it spits out information about Woodrow Wilson, Teddy Roosevelt. It talks about the Clayton Act. Um, the antitrust acts, it, it gives you information that would have been discussed or talked about in class or in a reading without actually doing anything. Now, when I did this, it got to a point where it was sort of like, it didn't know what to do, I wanted it to do something else, and I asked it to explain how these would be different. Now, I don't know if this was a load problem, like there was too many people inside the website, but eventually the hiccup sort of stopped, it went away, and then it started generating the answers again. Uh, this isn't something that happens all the time. I do notice if you live in the United States on the East Coast, sometime around 6, 7 o'clock in the evening till about 9 o'clock in the evening, East Coast time, um, ChatGPT starts to get overwhelmed with requests. So even if you do have an account, it will still require you to wait or it'll say there's too many people logged in. I don't know if this is going to change over time if we see more or less servers being pushed into it, but as you can see, the answers itself, like it's generating good answers. And what I mean by good answers is, if you had a student who'd been in class, was paying attention and knew something about the reading of the early 20th century in American politics, they could answer this progressive question. Um, they wouldn't necessarily have to have the, the video, but they would be able to answer the question itself. Now, when you stop, sort of go through all of this stuff, you know, a kid, a kid could, a student could generate these answers, they could type in this stuff, submit it to you. We know in the past couple of weeks we've seen ChatGPT's turned in answers to um, law and business schools and gotten passed, so a bunch of ones are worried about this. Um, but I gave it a question here and you'll see that it's interesting. Who would be more correct in describing progressives? Milton Freeman or and then I gave it Eric Foner. Now, one of those is an economist who's conservative. One of those is a historian who tends to be um, centrist, slightly progressive. Neither one of them is in the same field, but they talk about history in their books and their writings. It starts to spit out an answer that ends up defining who both of these men are and then begins to go back through the questions kind of line by line by line. These are the kinds of prompts that you want kids generating. How would ChatGPT reflect on an idea from a certain point of view that the kids have no perspective for? These are the kind of assignments that you want to be assigning. Mega prompts where kids take information they've learned and reevaluate it based on a point of view that they may not be familiar with. Don't be afraid of the tech. Use it. Again, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. Thank you for watching. Check out one of my other tutorials above and hit that like and subscribe button.